Whew. Hey everyone, what's up? I am exhausted. Excuse me, it's my day off and I am exhausted. I, I was like, I cooked for like three hours and in the end it still wasn't enough food, which is, just, it, that's just easily the most earth shattering thing that could ever happen. I don't know how my mom did it. Um, every time I just like look at her and I tell her, thank you. I don't know how you did it, but thank you. Cause geez, I'm, I'm telling you, like I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm really tired. Um, and I still have to take a shower. So obviously we're doing what I'm doing right now, which is record um, and get ready for work in the morning. Boo. Um, I'm really not jazzed about working every other Monday. It sucks. I'd rather just have off every Monday. Um, at least for the summer, because, like, you know, I, I could be getting little, some extra time in with the GF, with the baby, uh, but I don't. I mean, I didn't even see her this weekend, because <laughs> it was a weekend on call, but, it, it, you know, you know what I mean, you know. Um, crap, it's downstairs, but um, I actually got something today in the mail, um, and it was uh, a Game Boy Micro link cable. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Xanadu, didn't you just, like, buy, like, a micro adapter so, like, you don't really need a micro link cable? Yes. Yes, I did. My very eagle-eyed uh, and critically thinking companion, I don't know, commenter, whatever. Um, the reason why this is coming in, because I, I actually had already ordered this before uh, Pun Guy, um, like, mentioned he was making his own adapters so you know i bought that what is it female female micro to male normal link cable so that's like it's like an, an adapter that nintendo officially made i bought that and then i bought this around the same time but this link cable i bought from it's an australian seller that sold it so like it came all the way from australia it was sitting in customs for like a week for some reason uh, even though Australia is doing way better than us when it comes to, you know, <laughs> things. Um, but it was still being held in customs for a while, then finally got to me today. Uh, so yeah, came all the way from, I believe, Queensland, Australia. That's the last time I'm going to try to do an Australian accent again. Uh, but yeah, um, it looked fine. I don't know where I put it. I got to go look for it because hopefully I didn't like accidentally throw it out. I would cry my little eyes out uh but yeah it, it looks uh it looks good there's no pins like messed up or missing or anything like that looks like it'd be fully functional so that's good happy about that let's jump into this let's get all this stuff uh i woke up late today big shocker there but they did evolve so we got gabumon look how cute he is i love gabumon sprite he's just a, he's a cute little duper he's a cute little duper dee doo um I, know, I get his uh, uh, appeal because he's like he's like a dragon, but he's also like like a little wolf man. But he's not a wolf man. He's just wearing a pelt, which is still the most terrifying thing about his character. I remember in Try, I actually took the pelt off. I don't know why they decided to show us that, but they did. And then we have Gazimon. I love Gazimon. Gazimon's good. Uh, I got them both up. They're uh, effort, so they're both should be fine as far as evolution goes. They both should be good. Over here, because as you know, these evolve a bit quicker. We got, oh boy, what's your name again? Gar, oh boy, I forgot his name. Gargomon? Yeah, Gargomon. Hey, I remember. I mean, I looked over, but like, whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, and then we have Torudemon. Torudemon? Torudemon? I really don't know how to pronounce his name. I've never heard anyone pronounce it, like in the anime or anything like that. So I'm unaware. Uh, this is an interesting, um, you know, evolution. So the thing about the Lopmon egg on here is that, and it's kind of funny when you really think about it, but the Lopmon egg on here is actually like a good version of the egg. It's not like the evolutions we saw in the O2 movie. These are evolutions uh, that they would evolve into if they never became evil. Which is funny because Meikumon's on here, and Meikumon's evolutions on here are from Try, which is like, what if Meikumon was bad? Whereas on the 20th, which is not pictured here anymore because I put it away, 
that was what if Mekumon was he was good. So I find that funny. Uh, kind of an opposite. So we have to fulfill battles on here. So we're going to do that right now. Let's zoom out a little bit. Jeez. Six should be good. I don't know. We'll find out. That looks good, right? I think so. So yeah, how are you all doing today? What are you running? Where are you at? Let me know in the comments down below. I am quite interested. Um, I just, you know, it's just funny because I, I, I did totally say, I was like, I don't, I would love to do like Gabumon and someone else, but I don't want to. And I didn't, but then, um, you know, something came up and I was like, I can't say no to that. That's a cool idea. So here I am <laughs> doing it. Uh, yeah, I'm real, uh, oh, got him. Goodbye. Yay. I love Gargomon. He's so adorable. It's just a big old... He's got giant gauchos and guns for hands. I, I feel like he's usually... Um, he's usually what people point out when they point out, like, just like Digimon in general and how Digivolutions work. It's either him or Weird Rurumon. Because uh, they're very indicative of, like... Digimon evolutions, you know, like they they have clothes now. All of a sudden, guns for hands, um, and with wherever room on, he's got what is it? He's got pants, knuckle dusters. He's got like all bandaged up. Very, it's it's great. I love it. Um, I remember like someone. I was watching someone talk about Digimon, and they mentioned that initially Digimon was inspired by like like 90s western comics and you can totally see it especially when you look at Wergarumon and Gargomon and you look at like any 90s like um any 90s comic at the time like, and, like Spawn Cable really anything Rob Liefeld I think I think they really were inspired by Rob, Rob Liefeld of all things uh because A lot of these uh, Digivolutions, especially the older ones, really look inspired by that kind of 90s uh, comic book aesthetic. Definitely Western comic book aesthetic. Speaking of Western comic book aesthetics, I have started reading My Hero Academia recently because I was really bored at my job and we have quite a few volumes, Not obviously not like every volume. But quite a few, so I was like, screw it, let me start reading it. Uh, I'm on volume three, and I don't hate it yet. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to sound that dismissive. Uh, I, I wanted to get into it because I love the fact that it's so inspired by, like, Western comics. And it's a really cool mismatch of it. Like, it's, like, it's such a great combo, in my opinion, of, like, you know, a Japanese manga and a Western, like, comic. Um... I love it. I really do like the ideas and things, but at the end of the day, it's still a shonen. So I feel like it's, I mean, from what I've heard, it, it starts to fall and oh my god, it's Tronomon. Oh, and Kibimon. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot how he looks when he hops in. I just want to see that one more time. Oh god. That was so funny just seeing him like hop in. Speaking of Kibimon, I, I love. Uh, his, his, uh, oh, here he comes. <laughs> here he comes. Oh my god. What is it? Is that a little penguin he shot at me? I gotta raise Kiwimon one day. Um, I love it. Where's TK? Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> oh my god. I love the dub. The dub is great. Um, I remember it was like, was the, the dub was on Hulu, but I don't think the dub's on Hulu anymore. I remember the the dub was on Hulu, but now I think just just I think everything's back on Hulu, but it's just the original versions, which is fine. Uh, but you know, the dub is just like it's special. You know, it has its moments, both good and bad. Um, but anyway, back to My Hero Academia. Um, 
you know, there's just certain pitfalls a lot of shonen anime seems to fall into. It just has to follow that damn formula with everything. Like, I know there's a tournament arc. That's like the tuning exams. It's almost exactly the same, actually. Um, you know, uh, I can't stand Bakugo. Uh, I, I truly hate him. I don't think I've ever disliked uh, a character this much. But I really don't like him. I don't care what his backstory is at this point. He's just like a total asshole and there's just almost no reason for it. I know his mom's super hot. I, I don't know if he's a mama's boy. Uh, that doesn't matter. He's just too much of an asshole for him to be redeemable at all. He's just such a, just so annoying. And it's funny because like, you know, I'm reading the official, uh, kind of like, the official volumes have like these little breaks in between pages where the artist talks about like characters and what he thought of when he made them and i love stuff like that to death so it's really cool seeing like his thoughts like oh you know he's like oh you know deku looks plain but like i like that because it makes him stand out more and it's like oh that's cool and remember he, he said literally he said like bakugo like essentially it boils down to bakugo is a piece of shit uh i made him i wanted him to look like a piece of shit <laughs> and untrustworthy and he's a real piece of work like even he's like yeah like bakugo is like an asshole um, I, I, you know, there's, there's a, there's a healthy balance between being, like, a, a great villain and just completely unlikable, and he is definitely teetering towards completely unlikable. You know, I like me a good villain. I, I'm not the one to be like, oh, I hate this villain, or I hate you if you like this villain. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of a lot of villains. I love, uh, you know, I like Doctor Doom, uh, I like Magneto. Um, yeah, there's probably millions of other villains I could mention, but that's the two off the top of my head that are like, they're well, they're well written, they're not like, annoying, <laughs> I don't know, there's something about Bakugo, he's just, just so annoying. I feel like there's definitely a way you can make his character better, um, he doesn't have to be likable, it's not his unlikability that I dislike about him, it's just like, he's just annoying he's so abrasive and like again I, I i get where he comes from but it's just like he's like a he's essentially like a spoiled rich kid with a really big chip on his shoulder for no reason really he hates deku because deku didn't have a quirk but deku is a nicer person than him so that pisses him off because it makes him feel weak but like in the end of the day he is weak and he is a loser and it's his fault and it's like a it's like a vicious cycle. I don't know. I'm, I'm sitting here talking about how much I hate like <laughs> a character from My Hero Academia. Sorry for those of you that like uh, Bakugo. I ain't, I ain't one of them. Definitely not my uh, not my favorite. Um, Momo, psh, he's broke. Um, I didn't know her quirk for the longest time. I just, I only, I only, know, I know most of these characters just from like, you know, fan art and just what people talk about. Um, I, you know, I hear Momo talked about a lot. Didn't know her quirk for the longest time. Her quirk is like so busted. Like it's ridiculous. Like she can just create anything as long as it's not living. Like she can't create a living thing, but she can create like anything. Like that's extremely busted. Like he said, and I love, like, the one thing I do like is that, like, you can definitely see, like, at least in these early, you know, volumes, I hope this much care is put in throughout the entire thing, but definitely in these earlier volumes, you can tell the amount of care he's put into thinking about, like, the quirks and who has them. Um, like, I like the fact that, like, Deku obviously has, like, this super broken quirk, but his body isn't like capable of handling it so like he could literally kill himself if he misuses it so he has to be very careful about how he uses it and i always like that i always like in especially when it comes to like shonen and manga where it's mostly about it's not about how hard you can punch someone but outsmarting the opponent that's why i always like jojo because even though they're super buff dudes beating the shit out of each other it's not about who can punch the hardest it's about who can outsmart the other person. Um, and, you know, Deku's always trying to think of, like, how can I use my quirk without, one, killing myself, and two, completely, like, incapacitating myself. I, I like that. Um, and, 
you know, he said that, like, Momo obviously has a super broken ability. He was going to give it to, like, a hero, like, a main, like, professional hero, but instead gave it to a younger character because what would someone, like, what would an, an unexperienced person do with such a broken power? That's such a smart kind of question, in my opinion. I, th I think that was pretty smart of them. Um... I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, X-Men has done the same thing where they, they've given, like, pretty pretty strong abilities to inexperienced mutants because, like, that, like, watching them grow and learn how to use their power, it's a really fun thing to see. Um, so, yeah, I like that. Here's Mekumon and Telmon. Uh, I finally met some, I, I met some people, that, like, not too long ago that are not fans of uh, Mekumon, and the main reason is because they feel like she's a knockoff. Gatomon, and to that I really I can't say much because uh, they're not wrong. <laughs> I still like Meikumon. Uh, I know a lot of people really hate uh, Meikumon. It's kind of crazy. Um, like people, I know people that like cheered when she died at the end of Try. It's kind of sad. Um, I didn't hate her that much. May, her her tamer on the other hand. I mean, I don't hate May, but. Um, it was kind of grating seeing her kind of like have to go through the same like you know the same kind of conclusion at the end of like the last three movies that was kind of grating but you know i like her mostly because she has a hime cut and she's got glasses and dark hair and that's just like my thing uh but you know to each their own uh something i forgot to mention um some 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 friends of mine uh, actually got together for Odaiba Day and did a pass the brush type challenge. It was past the Digivice. Um, I forgot to mention it on the stream. Um, but yeah, they're in it. I'll actually link to it below in the, in the, in, in the description down below. It's really fun. I actually really liked it. Um, I was offered to be in it, but like, I didn't really, I don't really have any Digimon cosplays done, uh, yet. Um, the closest thing I can do is a try... Yamato, but they already had someone doing Try Yamato, so I offered that, and that's really all I could do. Uh, so maybe next time they do it, if they ever do something like this, hopefully I'll be able to participate. There are some Digimon cosplays I really want to do. I really want to do the main character of Cyber Sleuth. I'd also really, well, also, you know, eventually, hopefully, we'll be able to do uh, the Last Evolution Kizuna group. I'll be Ty from Kizuna. Um, and, uh, yeah but that's uh that's all for me i'm gonna go i'm tired and i still gotta do a lot today i still have to finish the battles on these uh definitely don't want any mishaps like last time um i'm kind of thinking of cutting this run as soon as Turudemon. actually no no because there's Turudemon. maybe i don't know i i kind of don't want to get to saint gargomon because that's not really from Adventure. He never became that in Adventure. That's really from Tamers. Um, then again, the Rapid Mon on this is the green one, not the gold one. Not the Digi Armor one, but we can just say it is. You guys can, like, that's fine with you guys, right? Uh, but yeah, I might not uh, let him evolve. I might just keep him at Rapid Mon and just, like, kind of call it there because. Um, you know, we had a, we'd have Rapid Mon and we have Cherubi Mon, which, again, is not the evil Cherubi Mon. But, like, the sprites are pretty much the same anyway. He's just purple, so we can just pretend that this is the O2 versions of this. Because that's kind of what the point was. Uh, what do you guys think of that? Are you guys cool with that? Because that's what I'm thinking of doing. I, I want this hatch to, uh, I want the theme to kind of stick. I did forget that, um, you know, these are going to get to Mega a lot quicker than these. So this run, I, it's kind of a good thing we started this. Because this run is going to end really soon. Whereas that one's going to just be starting. It's going to take about nine... 10 days to get to Mega, whereas this is about 6 days. So, yeah. That's it for Reelsies. Huge shout out to my patrons. I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna go. Gotta edit. Gotta, you know... I gotta drink some water. I'm super thirsty right now, too. I'm getting dry mouth. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to my patrons. Take care of yourselves. Drink your water. And stay safe. Happy Odaiba Day, even though it passed. Check out that video in the description down below. I think they worked. Uh, they did a good job on it, and a lot of their cosplays are awesome. Uh, and yeah, 
Bye. Peace. Whoop.